During the negotiation of the Treaty of Versailles, which ended the First World War, the reformers sought to improve working conditions internationally. The sacrifices of the war revived demands by labour organisations that first emerged in the 19th century. The Western powers were also keen to prevent contagion of the Bolshevik, Spartacist and Hungarian revolutions. The Treaty of Versailles thus created the International Labour Organization on 28th June 1919. By the end of 1919, 42 states had joined the new organization, although Clemenceau had sought to limit membership to the winning side. The member states shared the idea that social justice was essential to establish universal and lasting peace. The drafting of recommendations and norms took a very original form. The ILO's work is tripartite, involving representatives of member states, employers and trade unions. Before the end of 1919, the ILO had decided the working day should be limited to eight hours at France's instigation. The creation of the ILO, a League of Nations agency, was adopted unanimously and included in the Treaty of Versailles. That is the only part of the treaty that remains in force today. The ILO now includes all UN member states.